Welcome back to Canon Convos. My name is Paulina. And my name is Jed. And it's been a while. Yep. Well, we've been out, so... What do you mean out? Like, out of the country? Yeah, we've been out of the country. Yeah, we've been very busy. Um, so, yeah, welcome back. I don't even remember what episode this was. This is... This is 15, I think. You think? I think I'm it's 14. I'm pretty sure it's 15. Okay. We've done 14. Okay. Well, welcome to this episode... Sorry for being MIA, but now we're back. Yep. And today, we are going to be talking about um, something that a lot of people want to hear about. And it's about tattoos. Yep. A lot so, of people want to hear about it, apparently. Yeah, apparently. apparently. <laughs> you don't believe me? <laughs> <laughs> people ask me. Okay, so where should we start? Mm. Should we, wait, should we go like, um, talk about talk about getting tattoos first or hours first maybe the general stuff first. i think general sure okay um i think the the question that people m- ask most is how much it hurts or if it does hurt what would you say to someone who asks you that uh yeah it hurts oh, yeah yeah it hurts of course it hurts it always hurts it hurts yeah but it's not like unbearable pain Mm -hmm. i always tell people that want to get tattoos if if it was so unbearable like if they're scared if it's so unbearable then not a lot of people would have would have them yeah and a lot of people would have them by the way if you don't know we do have them yes (laughs) just an fyi yeah we have a lot which we'll talk about later but yeah, a lot of people ask, like, if it hurts, definitely. Yeah, it definitely hurts. It always hurts. Have you ever had one that doesn't, that didn't hurt that much? Yeah. Where? My arm. Like, my lower arm. Because um, if you're talking about pain, like, the level of pain, I think it depends on three things. The one is the placement. Yeah, but it differs for guys and girls. The one, the one's a placement depends on girl if you're a girl or a guy. The second is what you're getting. Yeah. And like then black is depend. Like black is the pain of black is different from yeah, the pain if it's colored. Just because they use the tattoo artist uses different needles. So the smaller the needle is, like those single needle yeah. tattoos that look so nice and like people super love. Delicate. Yeah, those hurt so much. <laughs> Yeah, and of course the artist, because some artists are very heavy. Their hands are very heavy. Yeah, so that's like a third thing already. Yeah. I don't know how many, but anyway, it depends on those things. And, oh, also, and also what kind of tattoo machine they use. If it's rotary yeah. or pen, those are two different things. Basically, if it makes a lot of noise or if it's silent. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. Of, wait, that is a lot already. And then the one thing I also want to say is it also depends on your pain tolerance. Yeah. And... So, one what? last. It also depends how long you're being tattooed for. Yeah, yeah. Because I have one tattoo that took seven freaking hours. I didn't know it was going to take seven hours when I went to get it. But by the fifth and sixth hour, my pain tolerance was so low. And I was so tired. So it literally felt like I was going through the depths of hell. And I didn't remember what life was like without pain. Mm. That's how painful yeah. it was. It was also painful. You had a five-hour one. I had the five-hour one and also the six-hour one, the one I had recently. Did you have the same experience as me? Like, it was torture. It was literally pure torture. It was tor- It was not really torture. It was more like, uh, we have to get out of here. Because we had a dinner <laughs> yeah. to go to. And it was like, oh, we have to get out of here. But your six-hour one, kasi, was also in your arm. So it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Because my seven-hour one was in my lower back. It was absolutely terrible. I'm never getting a seven-hour tattoo ever again. Mm. But yeah, it just depends on so many things. So my arm, no, not my arm, my back. The, your back was five hours. Yeah, the back was five hours. That was also painful. Yeah, that one was painful. Yeah. Basically, it's always painful. The level of pain just depends on all those things that we talked about. Mm -hmm. And my tip is, well, you can research it online. Don't ever go above four hours. Like, cut it up into sessions. I don't know. I I like a one-time, big-time thing. That's That's what I like also. But I would never want anyone to go through what I went through in that seven-hour tattoo. 
Because I have a feeling that some tattoo artists, they for sure go through um, the tattoo again. Like, they go on top of it, right? That's why it hurts. Because it, they go over it twice. Yeah. So... Because you're basically going over an open wound. Yeah, but if you cut it up, so you have three hours, and then you'll cut it up, and then tomorrow and on, like, so the wound is already healing, more? and then you're gonna go through it another time pa. I guess, yeah, but... Well, it really depends on you, I guess. If you can keep going, then I guess keep going. Yeah. But, oh, God, it was just so terrible. What else do people ask? A lot of people are very hesitant to get tattoos because they they want to wait for something that's meaningful what do you think about that uh teach teach their own i mean if you want to get something that's meaningful then go ahead get something that's meaningful if not if you just like a pure aesthetics then yeah, it's your body ahead, yeah well that's true it's your body it's your decision yeah i mean we don't really get something that's meaningful we rather get something that's nice yeah, we're the type like if it's aesthetically pleasing, like if it looks nice, we're just gonna get it. Yeah, if it's art, <laughs> if it's a type of artwork, or I mean, for us, it's art. The reason why we're getting it, it's because it's. Yeah, art. exactly. But for some people, it's like they want to commemorate. Something. Yeah, they want to commemorate something. They want to put a name or something like that. Don't ever put a name unless it's you know your son or your daughter or your mom. Don't uh, ever don't, get a significant I, other. I don't think you should put a name ever. Really? Yeah, I don't think my so. My mom has the name of my my name. <coughs> yeah, but to each their own, yeah. But for me, it, I don't think. You <laughs> so you get would a never name. get my name. <laughs> Maybe not your name. How rude! <laughs> How rude! <laughs> would you get my name? No. no. Oh, exactly. <laughs> of course. I just said don't get a significant other, but I would get a child's. I would get my offspring's name. Oh, I personally maybe, would do that. Yeah. I know, maybe you just said no. Ano ba talaga? No, I'm like for me, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Do That's that. what you say now, and then yeah. you're gonna have a son or a daughter, and you're gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, I love him so much. Let me get their name." Watch, I'm calling it right now. No. He's gonna get. He's gonna get that tattoo. No, maybe something that will symbolize them, like something uh-huh. of their name, but not like a name. I mean, you're because you're you're literally wasting skin <laughs> for for like a name that you can use a sharpie for. What are you talking about? No, no, no. Oh like, God. a name, it's a font, right? Unlike you symbolize it with something else. Let's, let's say your kid's name is... What's a usual kid's name? Sunrise. Yeah, I'm or like kidding. sunset. And then you get a tattoo of a sunrise or a sunset. <laughs> there you go. You don't put with caption sunset. No, you just put... I would get my kid's name, but like super minimalistic, super... Like super minimalist font and really small. Maybe. It doesn't have to be something big. Yeah, maybe. Oh my gosh. Or like their names, um... I don't know, what's the usual name? I don't know. Candy. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah candy. And then you put a candy. <laughs> That's, That's just weird. Candy. I'd rather have the word candy. Really? Mm-hmm. But yeah. anyway, yes. To each their own. Whatever you want. Like, you getting a tattoo of, of a name, or me getting a tattoo of a name, is not going to affect the other person. In any way, shape, or form. It's not going to negatively affect anyone. So get what you want. Would you ever get a tattoo on your face? No. Neck? No. Same. Ever. I would never. But that's fine if people get that. Yeah. I mean, but. it's all. It's really hard to get a job if you have that. But <laughs> that uh, true. Not a lot of people have face yeah, tattoos Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be Post Malone, sure. <laughs> yeah, you know those rappers with yeah. lots of face tattoos? Yeah, or like the, no, the tear job. Yeah, the tear job. But they say that when you have a teardrop, that means you've killed someone. Or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if that's true. Well, anyway, what other general questions do people usually have? Like, why do you get tattoos? Oh, well, we kind of answer the art, body yeah, art. Yeah, art. It's the um, expression, form of expression. Mm, yeah, I guess. Mm. Mm, I think to belong, I think um, there was a there was discussion, especially in... in a religious country like the Philippines. Mm. There's always been discussion about there's always been stigma of people having tattoos. For the longest time it was uh you have a tattoo, you belong to a gang or galing kang preso or something. Yeah, like before, that. but I think now it's very different. Before, yeah, before it was like that. And now times have changed, things have been different. 
Pope Francis actually mentioned something about tattoos. He, he said it's okay as long as it's not in excess. Yeah, right? yeah. No, he said that um, we should embrace something about um, the youth with tattoos because it's their sense of belonging. Gunba. Yeah. Okay, I guess. Well, so ever since that, ever since then, my family members have been pretty okay <laughs> with tattoos. After that, <laughs> that's true. Your Lola just said, "Don't get on my face." Yeah, which yeah. I won't, yeah, obviously. obviously. But yeah, it's more acceptable now. So many, like almost not almost everyone, but a lot of people. Yeah, because it's really a form have. of it's really a form of art. I mean, people paint, you paint, people do graffiti. People mm-hmm. do watercolor, do calligraphy. Some people do tattoos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So it's just, it's just that. Yeah. And some tattoo artists are actually cost as much as a painting. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. Well, uh, it's well. I guess going off of that, um, like let's talk about some tattoo artists we recommend or how we find them. Like if there are people that want to get tattoos but you don't know where to get them or yeah. how to find these people uh, let's talk about um artists and places here first in manila uh well we went to a lot of tattoo artists here in the here we've in the philippines we've been to a lot not everyone is great yeah there are some there are only like one or two that stands out and are, where we keep saying you can go to these people um uh, yeah not um, yeah f- there are only a few M- most of them are from actually all of them <laughs> they're they're from 55 tinta yeah it's the one in maginhawa owned by um the guy from <laughs> you told me this recently yes and i forgot who kamikaze someone like yeah, that yes. and you, yeah 55 tinta it's in maginhawa they have an instagram account um we usually go to oski and gg santrago is also really good you can check them out on instagram actually the the way that we find tattoo artists is re- really through instagram. through instagram yeah it's through instagram and when you're looking for a place in a tattoo artist you need to make sure that they're good and the place and is clean yes. yeah sanitary. the needles have to be brand new not basically ano talaga? you get what you pay for yeah you get what you pay for <laughs> tattoos okay that like i'm sure if you're just a first time first time you don't have tattoos and you hear about how much it is you're gonna be like what yeah it's like a minimum like two thousand minimum yes, five thousand yes. you literally get what you pay for don't pay yeah. It's like 500 for a tattoo. You're or, I mean, we've done the, those uh, buy one, get one free type of tattoos before. Did we do that? Yeah, the, uh, no, I'm not going to say the name because we don't like that place. Obviously, we're not going to But that it's any more place. of a get one tattoo and your other friend gets another one for free. Okay, well, uh, yeah, just basically go somewhere legit. Yeah. Go somewhere legit, pay for it. You research the artist. Don't research the um, studio. Well, also, oh yeah, because if the artist is good, then the studio is also good. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because we've gone to really good studios, but the artist is not so great. That's true. Right. You, you, sometimes it's, we go to the reputable ones, and then you know, they're not. That so the great. studio could be good, but the artist can be crap. But if the if the artist is good, the studio is usually yeah. always good. Well, I I vowed not to get another tattoo from any other Filipino artist except Oski. Whoa! Did you no, hear that, guys? He <laughs> vowed. No, it's true. <laughs> no, he's yeah, he's really true. good. Also, no, Gigi's also good. Actually, most of the, if not all, the tattoo artists of Fifty Five Tinta, they're very good at their respective styles. Yeah. Because every tattoo artist has a style that they kind of specialize in. Yeah. So just it just depends on what you want, but mm. definitely vouching for those artists. Yeah. And make sure when you're looking looking for a tattoo artist, you always look for you always ask for healed photos of tattoos because I've made the mistake of getting this super cutesy tattoo from Korea. I'll talk about it more later. And it healed really badly yeah it healed really badly and i i noticed like on her instagram all her photos were just of fresh tattoos yeah because when you get a tattoo when you first get a tattoo it's really nice and very vibrant 
and it it just looks mm. great. But once it heals, that's the true test yeah. of how good the artist is. So always make sure they post healed photos. Healed photos. Speaking of that, talk, should we talk a little bit about the healing process of tattoos? But because I feel like if you get the tattoo for the first time, you you're kind of gonna get shocked. Or not shocked, but you won't really know what's what to expect. Yeah, well, you're gonna be, of course, so excited to show everybody. But of course, it'll take a lot of patience and a lot of the, the process of actually Healing. getting it to look yeah. um, brand new. Three, four weeks after, it's also a process because it will not. Process? Oh no, it's not. Basically, yeah, when you get your tattoo, it's never going to look as good as it does yeah. once you first get it. So, in this, it will probably, it usually takes a full month to fully heal. Mm. But within the first week or two, that tattoo is going to peel so badly. And it's going to itch. It's going to itch and peel so, so bad. It doesn't matter what the size is, whether it's big, whether it's just a line, it's going to peel and it's going to itch. Mm. Totally normal. Don't ever scratch it. Yeah. And don't ever pick the scabs. Yeah. Because you're gonna mess the mess with the tattoo. Mm. But it'll take maybe within a month. Within a month, it's like fully yeah. healed. Um, what else? Should we move on to like ours? Is there any other? Are there any other general things that we should mm. talk about? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Okay, so let's move on to um, our tattoos. Yeah. How many do you have? And when was you? When and where? And what's the story of your first? And how many do you have? I don't even know how many I have. I, I think you have about 15. Really? Mm-hmm. You think? Or you know? Because a, f- a few months ago, someone asked me and I said 12 because I counted. Okay. I think so it's 15. 15. Okay. Something like that. Something like that. I don't really count. Okay, so when was your first? What was the, the first story? one was you. Remember, you brought me there. Yes, I'm a bad influence. So that was <laughs> like five years ago. That was mm. my first one. Yeah. I remember we went there and I wanted to get like my favorite Bible verse or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you got, you got <laughs> like a... Like that. You got... Yeah. You got two words. I got two words. Bible and it's verse. still here. Is it still there? Yeah, it's still here. Of course it's still here. Oh, he'll insert the photo. Here. I'll insert a photo. If you're watching on YouTube. Well, describe yeah. it for people who are listening. It's um. It's it in says, his wrist. It's on my wrist. It says, be still. With a little cross. With a little cross. It's in his inner wrist. Yeah. Um, that's it. How about you? That That's it? There was no story to it? No, there's no story to it. It was... It, <laughs> It, it, it was a song that we used to sing a lot. Okay. Okay. In high school, because I went to a Christian school. Okay. So it was a song I used to sing a lot, and we used to sing it at mass and stuff like that. So. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, how about you? So my first one was, I think I was 18 or 19. I just turned 19, I think. I was in, I was in Bora with my best friend, Bernice. And we met this German guy there. Um, no malice. We were literally just friends. We just yeah. partied and drank and hung out. Nothing scandalous. Literally just having fun. And we had so much fun that we decided to commemorate our trip with matching tattoos. So we have like a... We all have a German symbol because in German names, if you have a double S... It becomes a symbol, and the guy that we met had that symbol in his name. So we were like, oh my gosh, let's all get matching tattoos. So we all have that, and we got that in Bora. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So my, yeah. So I guess we both have our first, both of our first tattoos were meaningful ish. I ish. Guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I have that tattoo in my like side. Where have yeah. you? How do you describe this? Like below your kilikili. Yeah, below my kilikili, yeah. basically. <laughs> basically. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous. How were you when you got your first tattoo? You were not nervous. No, I wasn't ner- nervous. I was like literally, my hands were peeing. Yeah. Because they, well, my was, hands were so this wet. This so fast. I remember it was really fast. Mine was also really fast because mine was really small. Yeah. But we're, was, I think this is a single line. It's like five minutes. Yeah. Mine was also five minutes, but I was literally sweating like. I've but, never sweated yeah. before. I need to get it fixed though, because it's a bit. 
Yeah, Stay and there. you can get re- you can get tattoos retouched. Yeah. You can also get them covered up. By the way, if you don't like something, instead yeah. of removing it, you just cover it up with a Because you know, guess what? We you can actually get it removed now, but the yeah, process hurts more than the actual tattooing. And it takes lots of sessions. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I know someone who's getting hers removed, and it's taking it takes a long time. Yeah, but at least you can do it. Yeah. Unlike before, you couldn't do it. Yeah, and it's and it looks not bad. Like your skin doesn't look damaged; it just looks normal. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. So, uh, wait, I didn't even. How many tattoos do I have? I think I have about thirty-five. <laughs> you have a lot. You have more, a lot more than <laughs> something like that. Because you a, get small ones. Yes, I was about to say I get. I usually get small ones. That take mm, like an hour and an hour or two. Yeah, yeah, that's why I have a lot. After that seven hour one, I never, I yeah. vowed never to get something big because that one was is pretty big. Yeah, um, unlike unlike me though. Well, like you, you were saying before, I got a small one, and you're like, okay, that doesn't look good. No, yeah, kasi man. Okay, so Jed, um, okay, so one place we love to go to for tattoos is Korea. It's in Seoul. Yeah, just an FYI, their tattoo artists there are so good. They are so so good. Who's our favorite? Zeho. Yeah, so we found out we found this guy, um what was that, last year? No, uh, two years ago, last year. Yeah, two years like ago. That. Anyway, he had like three thousand Instagram followers. It was yeah, just super conti long. Super super conti. He owned the tattoo studio. He was like super underground and yeah. like super hidden. Yeah. He was not known. So we got tattoos. We got one tattoo each. Mine was bigger than yours. Mm-hmm. Um, her last is so it was so quickly it was so quick. What was your first tattoo with him? The the um the one he'll, in the he'll insert the photo. It's like a it's like a girl with yeah, a with a it's with like a wolf a native thing. Indian. Yeah, and then I got um a tiger head on my arm. Yeah. So after that, we were like, oh my gosh, this guy is great. He's so good. He was so fast. He was so gentle. It would didn't even hurt yeah. that much. Yeah. And then after that, we just kept coming back. Yeah, those are the best kinds of artists. They're good, they're gentle, and they're fast. Yeah. And he's all of those things. And he's... he was not super expensive. Oh, no. Well, first, his firstly, we need to say his name and promote him. Yeah, of course. We're Z- no, yeah, we're going to put his Instagram below. His name is Zeho. Yeah, his so name it, is Zeho. Well, if we're listening, it's Z-I-H-O. Yeah, and he's, he's Korean, but he speaks really good English. Yes. So a lot of good art, tattoo artists in Korea. We've had, we've gotten a lot of tattoos from Korea yeah. just because they're they're really good and they're cheap. Well, not cheap, but they're the same price as here, which is relatively cheap. Yeah, yeah. it's not like if you go to Canada or the U.S. Oh my gosh, it's really mahal. Except when we last went, the the one in Canada. It's not that exp- wasn't that. I expensive. mean, it's still more expensive compared to compared yeah. to Korea and here. Korea is really good and fun fact. Apparently, tattooing is illegal there. Mm. That's why so many. I guess that's yeah. why so many people go into tattooing. So, it, so it's not really. It's not banned to have tattoos. Yeah, it's banned. It's give. banned to give to be in the act of giving a tattoo. <laughs> so the police can literally go inside a studio and you're not tattooing, and they're not gonna get you because you're not yeah. in the act of yeah. tattooing. So that's why a lot of people still tattoo. A lot of people want to go into it because i guess they you, they don't really pay taxes yeah for it. yeah and it's, it's not really a and a lot of the artists are really good especially in korea this guy zio i remember my last tattoo with him i was sitting down and literally like five people just started yeah. circling me and i'm like what the heck is this and then he's like oh i'm sorry these are my students i'm teaching them how to yeah. tattoo and he's literally tattooing me I'm like very 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 delicate very very detailed type of tattoo and they're all talking to each other mm-hmm. yeah he's literally in tattooing and he the, he's talking to them in korea and i'm like uh shouldn't you concentrate <laughs> so this guy was really good and he's he's probably he's most likely teaching them his ways yeah and in fact we went to canada and then the person that did your tattoo loves Zio so much remember mm-hmm. yeah it was like he's like my he's like idol a fan yeah he's really good so in two years he, was, he went from like 2,000 Instagram followers to like 60,000 Instagram yeah. followers and he deserves it it's, he's really good he's really good and he's really nice 
So you've gotten the the girl, and then you got like an astronaut in his arm. Yeah. Show photo. Oh, oh, show photo. What else did you get from him? From Zeho? That Just was those it. two. Those are those two. But those are really big. That's fine. Yeah, and then I got the tiger head, and I also got like a um, paintbrush. Paint br- I got paintbrushes. Really, yeah. really nice. He's just really good. Back to my story. I, I was saying okay. this because... So we went to... The first time we went to Korea... No, the first time we went to Korea for tattoos, we... So Jed got another astronaut in his arm. Yeah. And it was so small. It's so small. It looked pretty weird because I have a big arm. Yeah. So, so now it just looks weird. So that's why now he gets bigger tattoos yeah. because it just looks weird. It looks weird. For guys to have smaller tattoos. Yeah. And there's so many... Also, Grim is really good. There's this girl in also Korea. Her name is Grim. And she has a very, very distinct style. Yeah. Just follow her. Just search for her on Instagram. It's hard to describe. It's just black. And her husband, now husband, is also really good. I Hugo like his Hugo also Hugo. does very good tattoos. But Grim does... Well, she did her... We have matching Power Rangers tattoos. Yeah. I have the pink ranger. And I have the red ranger. And his is much bigger because, yeah. like I said, it should be big for him. Mine is like a tiny yeah. little... But we'll, we'll tell them um, the difference between getting a tattoo in Korea and other countries and getting a tattoo here. What's the difference? Getting a tattoo here, it's more of, okay, this is the design that I want. You go to the tattoo artist, they will copy the design. Unlike if you go to another yeah. country... Marina Selang designs on their Instagram. They have flashes. So Marina Selang like distinct designs and then you pick from those designs or you you will give them like a design that you want and then they'll make it into their style. Their own style. Yeah. yeah. That's one pro yeah. That's one problem. That's what we're telling Oski. We're like, hey, you need to like, yeah. you should have flashes and have your own distinct style. Yeah, that's what it yeah. It just makes so much more of an impact. So that's why if you look at Grim, G R E E M on on Instagram, you can see it's just one style. Mm. And she's very popular for that style. She's really, really good. Yeah. Let's go, like, it's really hard to just... Do you want to just talk about... Oh, um, take turns talking about your most notable tattoos? Most notable? Mm, just describe them, I guess. Like all of them? No. I mean, like a few... I'll, I can start. And you then, I'll, start. And then yeah. I'll, you'll follow suit. So, if you look at my arms, I have a lot of my arms. I used to ha- just get them in my back and then slowly they would, you know, peep out into my arms. So, for example, my other arm, I have um, I have a tattoo of the of Mama Mary. What what sculpture is this? It's an image of Mama Mary in that sculpture. Pieta? Yeah. Yeah, no. Pieta. Is it, I think it's Michelangelo. Also Korean. Super small following. We'll also link it. But really, really good. So he was yeah. cheap because he had the the less followers, the, the cheaper followers they are. The cheaper they, the cheaper are. they yeah. are. So Zio was really cheap before, and then he, and got, then he got pretty expensive. expensive. But this guy who did the Mama Mary, so so good. He had like what less than a thousand followers or something like yeah. that. So he was. And he cheap. was doing it like in a condo. Yeah, he was doing <laughs> it in a condo. So good though, and it healed so nicely. And then. Zihi is also a really good tattoo artist She's in Korea. She's the most famous one, I think, that yeah. we've ever been to. Yes, because I see people on my Instagram repost her stuff. Yeah. Like I Z-I-H-E-E. Yeah. Zihi tattoo. Really good. I have one by her. She has like, what, 300,000 followers? A like lot. That? A lot of followers. Then, of course, we have our power, matching Power Rangers. Yeah. Because we used to lo- we love Power Rangers. We do. Uh, it was our childhood, so we decided to get that. I also have... Um, I also have an acrobat by my Lolo or to lose. So I basically took like an element of one of his paintings and I made Gigi Santiago from 55 Tinta tattooed mm. on my arm. <laughs> and then I also have like a geometric butterfly from Amsterdam. Well, speaking of that, um, what we like to do when we travel instead of getting, you know, like a magnet or. Yeah, we basically get tattoos from. Yeah, we try to get well, tattoos you from get where we more from where we be, go to because it's easier for me because I only get them small. Yeah, you get the small ones. Yeah. If you got a tattoo everywhere, mine is basically because I only have one from here, Korea, and Canada. That's it. Oh. I don't have anything anywhere else. Oh, so that's just me then. Yeah. Okay. 
Like, uh-huh. I, I never got one from New York. Yeah, so I have one from New York from Amanda Wachop. How do you pronounce that last name? <laughs> what? Wachop. What? Amanda Wachop. Well, we're going to link it. But it's Amanda underscore, I think. And it's W-A-C-H-O-B. How do you pronounce that? Yeah. I don't know. But she is so freaking good. And so freaking expensive. And she's so in demand that you cannot tell her what you want. Hmm. She'll release, like... Her books are always closed. She'll release, like, a few designs. And you can just to reserve the design. And she'll tell you where. And she'll tell you when. So, yeah. There are artists like that. Yeah. And, yeah, I have, like... Korea stuff from Korea. Oh, I want to talk about my favorite from Korea. My other favorite. Her name's Gong Grim. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Dad doesn't like her. No, but it's Gong Grim. G O N G. I don't know if there's an underscore, but it's and then G R E E M. So super, Gong Grim. It's super abstract to the point that if you have a kid and have them take a crayon. Yeah, it's like that. And then you have them you take a paper and it's do like whatever that. you want with the paper. And then this girl basically tattoos that yeah the skin. But that's not exactly what she does, the man. But that, that's her style. Her style is like she, it, her drawings are doodling pastels. But it's so nice when she transfers transfers it on the skin because it literally looks like a crayon. Yeah. It's hard. Can you do that? No. No, but I I don't like it. Well, <laughs> I think it's more for it's more of a girl thing. Maybe definitely. She has really nice flowers. Um, what else do we have? Nothing. Oh, we have a matching tattoo. Yeah, from here. Yeah, we have fireworks because. Yeah. Oh, we got married on January one. Yeah. So New Year's Day. Like so our, we got the firework. Yeah. See, that's that's what I'm saying. We get yeah. fireworks instead of writing January one, twenty seventeen. Well, I'm not. Yeah, because if we break up. Why am I gonna? <laughs> exactly. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, what else do we have that's notable? I also have, um, a tattoo of Willy Wonka. Because yeah, from Green. From Green, as in yeah. Gene Wilder, not Johnny Depp. By the way, G- the Willy Willy Wonka yeah. and the Chocolate Factory movie is one of my all time favorite movies. So I had to get Gene Wilder. He was the best. I also have a tattoo from Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, the Budaga. Yeah, the Aku Aku mask. The Aku Aku. Oski did it. Yeah, Oski did it. So good. It looks like a sticker. Mm. Basically, it looks like a sticker. I love Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. What else do I have? It's notable. Nothing else everything um, else is kind of just like on a whim i have a paw print because i love dogs obviously yeah, yeah. everything else is just kind of like oh your, let me get a parent the... signature oh yeah. yeah how do you remember that yeah i have my parents <laughs> signature my ankle so my dad's signature my mom's signature uh i have a flower on my shoulder there's nothing else that's really uh, notable your yeah. turn mine um well i have a tat I have a painting. Oh, by Zihi. By Zihi. Yeah. Um, uh, it's it's an Edward Hopper painting. Yeah. Edward Hopper, and it's nice. It's colorful. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. That was the first art type of type yeah. of art tattoo that I got, and then I have the the one from Zihi on my arm. It's like um, I can't see it, but I'll take mm-hmm. up. I'll put a picture up. Um, it's like a native Indian girl with a headdress of a tiger. Lion. Yeah, tiger. that's cool. It's very detailed. Yeah, it's super detailed. Um, and then I also have on my arm um, an astronaut playing golf. Of course, he has a <laughs> golf tattoo. Yeah, so that's my golf tattoo. Um, I also have a tattoo, one of, one of my first ones. Mm-hmm. Um, your Lola designed it. The leaf. The leaf. I remember... remember mm-hmm. um, you started the whole leaf thing. Tell so the story. yeah, so I started like a, <laughs> I sparked the whole leaf uh, series for her Lolo, because um, I asked him what type of, I mean, what how, like how to. He you wanted like his version of a leaf. Yeah, yeah. Because you're into sustainability. Yeah, so I asked him to draw a leaf, mm. and then he didn't stop for a long time. Mm. I think that was his last series, no. Oh yeah, before he before got sick he got and sick. stopped stopped working. Yeah, he, he got w- obsessed. He got super obsessed that like he wanted to have an an exhibit. Just all leaves. It's just all leaves. Yeah. So fun fact: if you're a fan, it was actually Jed that started the whole leaf yeah. thing of my. So daughter. I have a leaf. Um, what else do I have? I have well, I got one recently of the number twenty-two. 
Mm-hmm. Um, because my Lolo died almost a year ago. Yeah. So like I, that was his jersey number and like his um, favorite number growing up. So I got that. And my that's my mom's birthday also. Cool. Um, I have a flower in the back. Yeah, but that's uh, yeah, aesthetic. Aesthetic. Um, I have some on my leg, like a cello. Oh yeah, the one that hurts so badly. Yeah, the one that hurt really badly. <laughs> um, and then I have this spraying. Like, a like praying, hand spraying, hand but spraying, it's like a design, like aesthetic design. Aesthetic design. And my Power Rangers. Oh, and then I have a I have a um, Lichtenstein, Lichtenstein gun. Lichtenstein? Lichtenstein? I don't Stein. even know. A Lichtenstein. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pink gun here in the back. And I have um, I have lightsabers. In my oh yeah, arm. this is your Star Wars. <laughs> my oh Star God. Wars lightsabers. What a nerd. <laughs> and that's it. So, so what is, for you, what was the most painful? Oh, the most painful. Painful place. Painful place was the leg. Where exactly? My ankle. Okay. So that one was de- That one was death. So, I guess for guys, that's... Yeah, that one was death. Like, near my ankle. For me, my most painful was my ribs. I put in a long... Which one was that? I have, like, this... I have a tattoo of an outline of hands doing like a fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, that one. <clears throat> Super random. Doesn't really mean anything. It was just cute. So I got that on my ribs. And thank God it's just super fast and just an outline because I yeah. could not freaking breathe. I couldn't breathe. It's hard in ribs. Just yeah. so painful. I don't know how people get rib tattoos, honestly. Yeah. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, I hate that. That was the most painful for me. Mm what's your favorite one my favorite one um they're all my favorite <laughs> what <laughs> no, no. what kind the of answer is that the golf one for sure that's the golf one's your favorite the by golf Z-ho. One's favorite. Yeah. yeah my favorite is the tiger by Zio. by Zio, yeah I, I, I like everyone every time you show it to them it's always that's those are the ones that they really like yeah he's just really he's really <laughs> freaking good he's really, really and the good. way he works that guy it's just like it's two fast. hours later done yeah. And he, he asks you about, uh, do you want to take a break? Because mm-hmm. he doesn't want to take a break. Yeah. He just wants to finish it. He's very, him. very fast. And he's super fast. And yeah. What so else? Um, your pain, most painful favorite? Mm. Is there like a, do you have like a dream tattoo? A dream tattoo? No. Like I, I told you, I remember I told you. Oh wait, I forgot to tell people. I have a Which Niagara one? Falls one. That's oh, a new one. Oh gosh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> so I have. I just got a new tattoo from Canada. It's um, basically a realistic tattoo of the Niagara Falls. Cool. Yeah. Took so long, but cool. Took very, very long. <laughs> <laughs> mm, what else? What else can we say? Was is that it? Uh, I guess. The type of tattoo. There are different ca- types of tattoos. Kasi. Like realism. There's um, personism. Like, yeah. There's a... Uh, what's that? Um, American art. Neo. Pa- there's like a neo whatever. Yeah. And, and there's a pop-up. Oh, the pop-up. What? Blow up. Blow up dolls. I don't know. Dude, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> what are you yeah. saying? No, no, blow no, no, up no, dolls. No, no, no. What? Like pop- or something. But so it, it's... Remember when we, what, we were watching a TV show? that inked okay and then it was the one that they make people out of the like they tattoo people yes i know ink master yeah ink there ink master oh Um, pin up girls pin up there you go pin up (laughs) there you go blow up blow up (laughs) i cannot pin up girls there you go there's so so many many styles a lot of different styles but you know here in the philippines it's more like okay it this is what I want. This I print it out from my from the computer. From Pinterest. From Pinterest or whatever, and then you give it to the tattoo artist, and they'll do it. Yeah. So art artists are good then, but the problem is, you know, they're not a master in a specific type mm-hmm. of um, style. Yeah. But I think Oski has mastered the single needle. Which hurts like a <laughs> Which hurts. Biatch. So the single needle, it's like the detailed ones. It uses just one needle and it's super, super small and it's really, it really hurts. And not a lot of people, not can a lot of it. tattoo artists can do it because 
Because that's it. It's just one needle. So if you make a mistake, you're done. And it's hard because to and it's hard to make the ink stay in your skin. Yeah. That's mm. that's their. Oh, before I forget, I'm, well, I'll show the well flash photos of the the tattoo that I got from Korea that healed so badly. It's basically mm. a topaz. It's by Hemi, H-E-E-M-E. And who has the same tattoo as you? And, and Curtis. This is, okay, Anne Curtis doesn't have the same tattoo, but she got a tattoo from the same person, and I really hope that hers healed yeah. nicely because that this Hemi girl specializes, quotation mark specializes, in really tiny tattoos, which is so, so cute. Like, the topaz was so cute yeah. when it was new. And then as soon as it healed, as soon as it peeled off, mm. it looked like a freaking scab. Like, kasi, there's no more color. Yeah, because kasi, the, the the colors that she used were very, very light. So when and, light color... And her hand was light. Yeah, and, and when light color, when it uh, heals, it literally disappears. Yeah. The, basically, she didn't inject the pigment properly. I mm. guess that's also why it didn't hurt. I was so, so excited because I also got like a little poly pocket, remember? Yeah, you got I a got poly- two tattoos from her. It cost a lot. It cost more than Zio. Yeah, it cost more than Zio at the time. I got the topaz and then I got the poly pocket and they're both covered now because they were so ugly. Yeah. So that sucks. So always make sure, just do your research. Mm. Make sure they have healed photos, not yeah. just mm. bagong. Yeah, I wonder how Anne goa. Curtis's tattoo is. I don't know. It's so if anybody <clears throat> knows Anne Curtis, can you ask her for us? <laughs> can you see how her little yeah. heart tattoo is doing? And can doing? you like comment <laughs> yeah. or message us? Or if you see a photo with her little heart tattoo by Himi, let's, yeah. let's see how well it's doing because mine, <laughs> mine did not heal properly. Yeah. So what else? I think that's it. Um, I don't know. Mm. I guess. Yeah. If you have any questions regarding tattoos or like any... I, I mean... If you want us to recommend for you, yeah, yeah, we will recommend, but um, we'll literally sign a disclaimer. <laughs> we just did. We just rec- we recommend a lot of people. Yeah, but yeah, and oh, also, if you're like, if you're going to a country and you want to get like a tattoo there, like for example, someone asked me recently, "Hey, have you gotten a tattoo in Taiwan?" Because I'm looking for a tattoo artist mm. there. We've never been to Taiwan, but. The, an easy way to find tattoo artists is to sh- search hashtags on oh, Instagram. Right. Like, if you're going to Taiwan, you, like, search hashtag Taiwan tattoo. The, or so usually, many. like, tattooist. <laughs> yeah. It's, that's that's in Korea. In Korea. It's, well, yeah. Tattooist. Yeah. But hash, they always hashtag. So, hashtags are a super mm-hmm. easy way to find um, really good artists. Yeah. There's a couple of good ones also in, like, Hong Kong. There are a lot of good ones yeah. in Hong Kong. Actually, well, a lot of in Asia. Been, we've never had one in Hong Kong. No. Yeah. Also, Singapore. I remember, pumalpak yung ano. Oh yeah. I was yeah, gonna yeah, get. Yeah. I was gonna get one in Singapore, and the girl like showed up so late, so we were like, okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, we were there <laughs> for like an hour. And yeah, half. It was such a waste of time. She was so late. She, she didn't wake up. Yeah, she didn't wake up. So I was like, okay, you know what? Up. Never okay, mind. Yeah, no, never mind. No more. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Yeah. If you have any questions, just message us. Mm. Hopefully, this was informative. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.